there, I am Sophia, and today in true internet fashion, I will be going on an adventure to somewhere where I will be interviewing subjects who will be able to provide me with absolutely no insightful information whatsoever. Don't worry, I'm not interviewing politicians. I'm interviewing something we have marginally lower expectations of, inanimate objects because I thought this was a good idea. So with the help of my trusty microphone, we will go off and forge a new realm for reporting, interviewing inanimate objects, because I can. So as I began my quest for the perfect inanimate objects to interview, I came across a solitary white door, standing there, uncertain, the perfect subject. So a uh, door, tell me. How do you feel about your importance in our modern society? I mean, you could be described as a beacon of privacy. I mean, your being opened or closed, locked or unlocked, could be the difference between people seeing things they really don't want to see or being slaughtered by a serial killer. So tell me, how do you feel about this profound importance? Ah, yes, thank you. Very insightful. Very insightful indeed. Thank you for the interview, Dora. Then I continued on to less pleasant subjects. So, um, obviously you are a bird. Meaning that you have an innate natural ability that us human beings do not have, but I do have to say we figured it out eventually. May have taken till the 19th century, but I still have to say that's pretty damn good. I mean, what have you birds ever figured out? Nothing. But, um, tell me, how does it feel to have this one up on us human beings. The ability to soar above the sky. I mean, it's not that impressive when you actually think about it. Um, so, yeah, what's your opinion? Oh, yes, that's great. Oh, you're still going. Do you ever stop? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you're done. Well, um, thank you. Don't fly too well now, do you? And subjects who did not live up to expectations. So, now I'm joined with one of my own creations, a fruit of my loom, as some may say, a hippopotamus I crafted by hand at about the ripe age of somewhere around 10. And he's even won an award. He's very distinguished in the hippopotamus community. So I thought I'd bring him in for an interview to ask him about how great it is to be crafted by me. So, uh, hippopotamus, tell me how wonderful it is to be distinguished and great because I crafted you so well. Well, you're quite smug, aren't you? Um, well, nobody asked for your opinion, Hippopotamus. I think you should go. Hippopotamus thought he would tell some preposterous lies about me to mm, tarnish my reputation or something, but I don't think we need to listen to him. Then a dirtier subject. So, um, toilet. Obviously, your sole purpose in life is for people and sometimes cats to dispose of their bodily waste within you. So, um, tell me, what's that like? I mean, it can't be pleasant, can it? Oh, you sort of enjoy it? I mean, I guess it gives you a bit of purpose. Um, certainly takes a certain type of character to be you. Um, thank you for the interview, Toilet. And last but not least, a subject with quite the reputation. So, um, photocopier. As I'm sure you're already aware, your reputation precedes you. You are known for getting a lot of ass action, most of which I'm sure is non-consensual, considering you are in fact an inanimate object. So tell me, how does that make you feel? Ah, uh, yes. You can't help but sympathize, but do keep in mind that there are plenty of people who would love to be in your position. Getting several asses in the face a day is some people's heaven. Thank you very much for the interview. So, um, there you go. That was me interviewing some inanimate objects, because this is how I spend my time. But, um, if you want to, you should subscribe, and why not go out there and interview some inanimate objects of your own? Because why not? And, um, I will see you later.